Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Joy and I'm a fitness coach for ladies struggling with weight loss to get to their ideal weight so that they can fit into that pair of jeans again. By God's grace, I've helped transform many of my clients' bodies by losing body fat, get toned and get leaner through a high carb, low fat plant-based diet and smart training. Today, let's talk about essential fatty acids. I want to say I'm not a doctor, I'm a trainer and a sports science undergraduate student. I know a little tiny bit about nutrition, so don't believe every single word I say. This is just my own research. Every whole food has three macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat. Let's look at fat specifically. The fat macronutrients is found in foods like olives, avocado, nuts, seeds, mm, fish, meat, and dairy. And as you all know, a diet rich in fat will very likely lead to heart diseases. Many years ago in the 1960s, we have been recommended to reduce our animal fat intake and replace with vegetable fat instead. So what it means was ditching butter and replace with margarine and ditching lard and replace with safflower oil. Did this move help us reduce our cholesterol level? No, it didn't. Not only did the change not reduce our cholesterol levels, instead our cholesterol levels went up. So there was a comment in my previous video saying that we need essential fatty acids in our human bodies and I 100% agree. So what is this essential fatty acids? It is the omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids and only plants can synthesize or make these fatty acids. So the fish oils that are marketed outside that are rich in these essential fatty acids, they got it from the algae that they ate while they were still alive. What about the non-essential fatty acids, that the rest of the fatty acids? Our human bodies are very capable of creating or making these non-essential fatty acids through the excess calories that we eat. Like I mentioned in my previous video, our body's preferred source of calories to turn into stored fat is the fat calories, the excess fat calories. But let me emphasize, every macronutrient is important. Fat is important. We can have enough of every macronutrient on a high carb plant-based diet. Notice I said high carb, not all carb. So what are the functions of essential fatty acids? The formation of healthy cell membrane, transportation and oxidation of cholesterol. It is also the precursor of these tiny but mighty hormones called eicosanoids. So what happens when we are deficient in EFA? Because EFA helps us form healthy cell membranes, what happens when we are deficient is that we could have lesions mainly due to faulty cellular membranes and also our susceptibility to infection is also increased. Um, it also affects our ability for our wounds to heal. Our skin could be scaly. So what causes humans to be deficient in EFA? Number one reason is dietary intake is too low, which means you are essentially under eating. Essentially under eating. Get it? Get it? So in actual fact, just a tiny amount of EFA can is enough to prevent you from being deficient in EFA. Another reason is baby's skim milk formula could cause deficiency in these essential fatty acids as well malabsorption such as short intestine syndrome and by the way clinical evidence of EFA deficiency is very rare. So how much essential fatty acids is enough? According to the World Health Organization just 2.5 to 9 percent of your total calories coming from omega-6 and 0.5 to 2 percent of your total calories coming from omega-3 fatty acids is enough. Excessive consumption of EFA could cause an increased risk of heart diseases. There was a study on humans conducted by Dr. David Blackenhorn and his associate where they compared the effects of different types of fats on the growth of lesions in our coronary arteries and they compared the results one year apart. 
what they found out was that all types of fats, saturated fat like the animal fats, monosaturated fat, the vegetable fat, and the polyunsaturated fat, our essential fatty acids, they were all associated with forming new lesions. Meaning to say, even substituting animal fat with vegetable fat did not reduce the size of the lesions. Only when the fat intake was reduced did the lesions stop growing. So, eating a diet high in fat largely affects the risk of heart diseases as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Excessive consumption of essential fatty acids could lead to obesity as well. As I mentioned in my previous video, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Fat is very calorie dense. If we compare a cup of flaxseed and a cup of pumpkin, the pumpkin is so much lower in calories. It is very easy to overeat on calories if our food is high in fat. Another danger of excessive consumption of essential fatty acids is the increased risk of bleeding. What EFA is beneficial for is that it reduces the tendency of blood clot by thinning of the blood. If you, touch wood, get into an accident, it could be very fatal. So what do we do now? According to Dr. McDougall, the safest way for us to get our EFA is to eat our starches, vegetables and fruits. The EFA is found in the most natural packaging along with the correct amount of antioxidants, other vitamins and minerals and nutrients. If you really desire more EFA, a, a few tablespoons is more than enough. Like I said, fat is important in our diet, but we do not need copious amounts to supplement in our food especially when weight loss is our goal. And that's it for today's video. And until next time, bye-bye.